Time to play with some clay. Before we get started in today's uh, video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and uh, click the little bell next to the subscription button and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate thumbs up. It shows me that you enjoy my video. All right, let's get busy on the clay. This is a, a reproduction of the shield that supposedly that uh, Crazy Horse carried uh, in, into battle and it was captured in 1877 by a Lieutenant Henry Lawton and it measured 16 inches in diameter and I'm going to take a quick measurement I've got my feathers scaled to the head measurement of my figure which automatically scales the uh, inches so 11 and 5 make 16 so if I go there that would be 16 so it would actually be smaller than that but bigger than this so I'm going to have to uh, make a new shield and uh, I'm going to do that right now. All right, I'm going to get this cut out to be, uh, it comes out to nine inches and it fits in that perfectly, that uh, circle right there. This is a baker's uh, silicone sheet and it works perfectly for, the, for uh, rolling clay on because it's silicone. Okay, the first thing I need to do is spread out clay on top of this cardboard that I cut out. This will be the armature for the uh, shield. By the way, this is late at night. It's like 8.32 right now, and it's because earlier when I worked on uh, the clay, neither camera wanted to act properly so I got all screwed up on the video and it just wasn't worth my time trying to figure it all out and it wasn't much I just worked on the uh, hand uh, holding the uh, shield I also did some research as to what the back of the shield might have looked like and I found several uh, o Ogallala and L Lakota uh, style shields and how the back of them would have looked and how the stri stripes straps would have looked. There was one that uh, had, well, let me show you. I think I got it here. Yes, I do. Yeah, right there. This one here this is the back of the shield and it was all rawhide strapping web of strapping and right in the middle was one single handle that he would have just held on to that that's what I'm thinking of doing right there here's one uh, with a strap for the arm and a strap for the hand I'll come back when I get both sides covered in clay I'm just getting the edge of the uh shield right now I'm not going to do any designing on it today I basically wanted to just get it clayed in and then I'm going to work on the feathers while I've got the camera angled at this table so you can see how I start that and uh, I'm not going to cover it all completely because uh, I covered in my instructional DVDs, but uh, I'll show you enough to make it entertaining. I use a wooden dowel to 
sort of flatten out the clay a little bit. Okay. Enough for the shield. Now, I took some pictures of uh, actual eagle feathers and uh, I can't own eagle feathers, so I can own at least a photograph. Uh, this was uh, uh, supplied to me by a, a Native American friend of mine years ago. Can't even remember when, but uh, let's see. Both feathers are about the same. I'm going to cut this out. When I scaled this to an eight and a half inch uh, head the uh, and I did the eight and a half inch head to a three and a quarter inch uh, measurement because that was that's the uh, head measurement of the uh, figure I'm working on it automatically scales the size of the feathers to match his scale which really comes in handy when you're wanting to get at least authentic in feather size. I'm thinking of making the uh, feathers out of uh, monster clay because it'll probably hold its shape better. Okay, I'm going to heat up some monster clay and I'll be right back. All right, the feather is uh, done. It's got some nice detail to it. And the uh, structure of a feather, the short part would be bent down. And the uh, after part of it would be bent up. It's sort of like a curve, nice, nice S curve. Well, I've got the fe feather temporarily attached. I've added the fluff to just above the uh, cloth wrap around the uh, quill, bottom quill. I think it looks pretty good. I'll uh, paint it to match the color of the clay so it won't be confusing, but I I'm happy with it. Let's see what it looks like from every angle. Looks good from that angle, too. All right. So that's the uh, cr crazy horse right now with a new shield on. And uh, I had to reposition his arm a little bit to uh, accept that size of a shield. But I think it looks good. And I'll work with that feather. If I'm not happy with the... Uh, Positioning tomorrow, I might just uh, reposition another way, but I'll wait till I get the hair done before I do all that anyway. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.